Hey you guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick video on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I'm going to do quick swatches and a little mini review at the end, so just go ahead and keep on watching. So first off, I really love the packaging of this palette. Like I feel like it's so nice and it's like velvety kind of feeling and it just, I really like it. Okay, and then opening it up, we have... A bunch of different kinds of shades and I don't know just something about this palette made me want to buy it I feel like more so for this green shade right here I'm just gonna start swatching all of the shades and then give you little close-ups so the first shade I'm gonna swatch is this one right here and it's called lucid this one's lucid the next one is called Eden which is right here this one's Eden now this next one is called Unity, that one's Unity. The next shade is called Sphinx, this one's Sphinx. This next one, I'm not sure how to pronounce, I think it's like Oriasis or, or Ceres. I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but it sounds like Orsi, Ori, I don't you know what, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I don't know how to say it. Zang. Okay, this one's Osiris. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, but you know, that's that's that one. This next one is called Sphere. It's like a neon yellow. This one's Sphere. This next one is Obsidian. It's like pitch black. There's Obsidian. The next one I'm going to swatch is this one right here called Dimension. This one's Dimension. It's a really pretty shade. The next shade I'm going to swatch is this one right here. It's called Parallel. And it's this one right here. The next shade is one of my favorites. It's called Pyramid. It's such a nice gold. This one's Pyramid. So the next one I'm going to swatch is Throne, which is one of my favorites right here. That one's Throne. The next one is called Saturn. That one's Saturn. The next one is called Eternal, which is right here. And it's this one right here. And the last one I'm going to swatch is this shade right here. It's called Lear, or something like that, and that one's Lear. Okay, so in order, this one is Lucid, then we have Eden, then we have Unity, then this one is Sphinx, then this one I can't pronounce, Osiris, this one's Sphere, then it's Obsidian, and then, then we have Dimension, I kind of like accidentally smushed my finger, but <laughs> that one's Dimension, this one is Parallel, the next one is Pyramid, this one is Throne, the next one is Saturn, this one's Eternal, and then we have Lure, Lure, L-U-R-E, that's how you spell it. So my actual thoughts about this palette is I really, really, really love some of these shades. The only one that I feel like, it's not that it's not good quality, I feel like it is a good quality. Um, it's just Sphere, like I need to play around with this one because it's a neon yellow. Like I need to, to get creative to be using that shade. But overall, these all swatch really nice. Even when I put my brush in, they're not as flaky as other palettes that I've used. Um, and they're all really, really creamy. So I definitely like this shade. Um, uh, this shade. I definitely like this palette. I definitely think you should get it if you're interested in any of these shades. This one is seriously my favorite for the winter. Like, I'm super pumped. I want to put it all over me. Even though that would not look good. It's like an ugly green effect. So basically what I'm saying is I definitely recommend this palette. It's really nice. Uh, it swatches beautifully. The eyeshadows are really creamy and I really like it. Could not recommend it enough. And I hope this helped a little bit. I know it's a little bit all over the place. But thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.